Well, hello, YouTubers. Hey, I'm going to show you how to uh, pull this radiator out of this uh, 99 Dodge Neon. The process will be the same from 1995 all the way up to 2005. Now, um, I've gone ahead, and to speed up the video a little bit, I've gone ahead and done a few things, but I'll show you what I've done. I've went on ahead and drained out the antifreeze. That's something you want to do right off the bat. Here is a little plug that goes up here. Up in that area, uh, the radiator sits right about here where my finger is. There's a plug. I apologize, let me get my finger right. There we go. There's a plug that sits right there. You unscrew that and you let the antifreeze drain out and uh, catch that. And also get your secondary pail because there's going to be some transmission fluid that you're going to lose because we will have to unhook a couple of transmission lines. All right. First things first. Go ahead and take your battery out. It's pretty straightforward. Mine is sitting off to the uh, back of me there. And uh, once you get your battery off, you got some of them have these little plastic covers that sit on them. You got to take all this off and all that. Don't worry about this air cleaner. I was going to do something later with that, but uh, that's not part of the process. So on this uh, battery box, you got three of these uh, 14 millimeter bolts. One that sits right here. One that sits right there where my finger is. And there's one that sits down here, but you don't have to take that one all the way out. Just get your socket in there, loosen it enough to pull this up. And you got a 10 millimeter bolt there, and that will allow this tray to pop out of here. And once you pull it up, you have to be careful because you have a wire that's connected right here on this battery sensor. So unhook that, get that off the side, and sometimes on some of these models, you have a little piece of uh, air hose right here. It brings the cool air in around the battery so it doesn't get hot and doesn't trip that sensor I just showed you because if it trips that sensor and the battery gets hot your battery light inside will come on All right and after you do that uh, Oh, by the way, this box here just kind of sits on the back of this uh, battery tray Push on these little tabs right there and this whole thing will just slide up out of the way and it comes off pretty easy and We've got, we got a wire right here. We got to take out and this is a little ground. I'm gonna get my finger on it there it is. Kind of push that off to the side there. Now this is going to be one long video. I am shooting it on my cell phone because I don't feel like doing any editing today. And we'll see how good this uh, Galaxy S5 is today. Actually, this is an active Galaxy S5. Okay, now next thing you want to do is come over here, get your radiator hose off. Like I said, I've already loosened some of these hoses up, make it a little bit faster. Put that off to the side, and now we're pretty much down where we can get have access into this radiator. All right, on this radiator, we've got a couple of bolts we have to take off. There's actually four of them, and there's one right here, on here, on this fan, one there, and one there. So there's four of these little guys. They are 10 millimeters. You got to take those out, and once you take those out, we just lift the fan up like this, and when you pull this fan out, there is a plug on the back that you got to unplug right here. That plug is sitting right about here somewhere. Actually, there it is, sitting right here. There's one of them, and the other one is somewhere hidden down here. It just fell on me, but anyway, let's take this off the side. I'll put this fan over here. Then we have another fan we have to take out. We have to take this out. Remember the bolts here? We'll take these two 10 millimeter bolts out. Lift it up a little bit and slide it off to the side. This is why we take this battery box out. It makes it easier to get these fans out. And there's the plug on that one that you plug it into. And here is the wiring harness actually for both of those fan plugs. There's one, left one, and there is the right one. And just kind of push them out of the way. And you got to be careful these blades on these uh, little plastic fans. They can be very sharp I've seen people cut their fingers off almost with these things. So very be very careful When you go to take those off. All right now we got the fans out Let me give you a look at it And you can see there's the radiator now the reason I'm taking this radiator out is the uh, Condenser the AC condenser here, which uh, is on the high side. It's got a leak if you saw my other video the other day I got a leak down here so in order to fix this uh, AC condenser the radiator has to come out because that AC condenser is bolted on to the radiator, so in a nutshell. All right, so we'll pull this out of the way, the ground wire. Now what we gotta do is go ahead and unhook our transmission lines. Now you can do it two different ways. You can unhook it from the radiator down here on the bottom, 
or you could just do it up here on the transmission. I'm doing it on the transmission, pulled them off here, only because these are pretty rusty down here and there's no way I'm gonna get those off and there's no room, so it's easier just to deal with that once the radiator is out. All right, now once we got that loose, then really all we have to do at this point is go ahead and take out these 10 millimeter bolts here. There's one right here. And I will spare you the pain because I'm gonna to have to let the camera roll while I do these two because I didn't take these all the way out. And like I said, I have to take the radiator out because I am leaking um, um, refrigerant in the system. It'll stay cold for a couple hours and gets warm. And if you watched my last video, you know how to check your AC system for leaks for almost nothing. And this one's just about out. It's a pretty easy radiator to take out. Some of these neons don't have AC. You won't, you know, you don't have to worry about this, but hey, it's almost summertime. It's getting hot and I want my AC. I'm getting old too, so. All right, so we're gonna take this little plate off here. I'm gonna stick this up here. And we'll stick it off here. All right, now we got one other thing to do here. We got two, two uh, lines to take off. There is an AC line right here we have to take off. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. You get this bolt out here. And now if your system's pressurized, I would slowly let the pressure out um, over here, just, you know, release it here. But if it has the old R12 stuff in it, then um, I'm just gonna leave what to do in the comment section for that because I know you can go to prison and all that, blah, blah, blah. But 95% of the time, if you have to work on your AC system, it's probably leaked out. So um, if you have the newer stuff, don't worry about it. Just go up here, take your low side, take this cap off right here. Take a screwdriver and just slowly uh, let the system leak off. Okay, now we got this off. We'll pull this one off to the side, this high side line. And we got one more on this side to do. There is a 10 millimeter bolt, which is right about there. It sticks in there just like that. We take this one out. Now this one's very long, don't get them confused. Here is the uh, left side, and here is the right side. And you can see there's a big difference in the length of them. So don't mess those up. All right, now we go ahead and get this line out of the way, and there it is. And you can check those seals, make sure that they're okay. And I'm probably going to do this for nothing. Well, I'm not doing it for nothing because I have to go find me another cooler if I can't fix this. The AC cooler because I think this, there's a set of seals on the back side of this front here where the front seal goes into that's leaking. I'm not sure. It's kind of a weird setup, but this is why I'm going to take this out. And let's see. We got... Take that off the side. All right, now we got those uh, AC lines off. What you got to do next is go down here and pull your transmission lines off. I always do this last because there's always a little bit of transmission fluid that leaks out. This is why you want your bucket down here in the bottom. And on my neon, there's a line here and a line there. And at this point, we are ready to lift this um, radiator and air conditioning condenser out. So I'm going to try to do this with one hand and hold the camera in the other. So here goes. One, two, three. There we go. There we go. And there it's out. I'll set it off to the side. And here's a nice look at it. That wasn't too bad, folks. Alright, now this side is okay. It doesn't leak. The leak I have is right here. And it looks like I don't know, there's a seal there. It's leaking. If I can set this just right. It's leaking back on this side. It's not really leaking up front like I thought it was earlier. So, um, this is why I'm taking it off. And if I can't fix it, then um, I'm probably going to have to get another um, air conditioning uh, condenser. The nice thing is I can put the radiator back in because this air conditioner condenser is bolted on the radiator. So, meaning that the radiator is the main support for this entire uh, mess clump system there, if you want to call it a mess. <laughs> and here's what it looks like when the radiator is out. Lots of room to get in there and do what you want to do then. So uh, that's how the radiator comes out of a 99 Neon. And uh, like I said, when you're doing this, make sure you wear gloves because there are a few sharp things in here that you have to take out. And let's see. The only other thing I can... I think I told you this when you take this battery box out you got one more bolt here that bolts just set it up here it bolts right there 
take that out. I usually take everything out in, in one piece. It makes life a lot easier. So that was a mouthful. So the camera's still rolling. And I guess that's about it. And um, I may give you guys an update later on this. I can go out and get another air conditioning cooler for about $35. But I'm not sure what's actually going on here. So I don't know. All right, well, there you go. There's a look at it. And like I said, once you get the um, radiator off, you can deal with your transmission lines once they're off. They're easier to get to. Uh, you can put new clamps on them and all that. And this is a fairly new radiator. And there are your rubber support feet. Don't lose those when you take them out. See, I've got one on mine right here. And the other one, I do believe, is still on the vehicle. Yep, there it is. Setting down there. So... All right, so I'm going to give you guys an update later once I decide to uh, recharge it and let you know how it's working. Hopefully it should work pretty good, but that's all you need. You just need basic tools, a couple metric uh, sockets, screwdriver, pair pliers, and uh, some um, uh, muscle and uh, a pair of gloves to keep from cutting yourself, and that's about it. All right, so there you go, guys. Uh, until my next video, I will see you then. Good luck pulling your radiator out of your Ace, out of your uh, Neon. Hopefully you're fixing the air conditioner like I am so you can have nice cold air. So uh, there you go. Until my next video, I will see you guys then. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.